so welcome to Mastermind. Can we please have our first painting, please? What's your name? My name is Deborah Bound. And what's your occupation? I am now a dog walker and a parcel delivery courier. Good. And what's your specialist subject? Weight loss. Okay, your time starts now. How much weight have you lost? Just over three stone. And how did the weight come off over the weeks and months? Uh, for me, it's a slow process. I um, have some underlying issues. I'm menopausal and um, have cushions. So it took me a long time to find a fit that would work and help me lose weight. Right, okay. And having lost the weight, do you feel different? Yeah, I feel much more energetic, my knees don't hurt, my back's much better. I do lots more exercise to help with the dieting. Um, yeah, just feel better in myself. So what would you say was the weight loss technique you've adopted? I have a mixture. I have to do a little bit more than most people do because of my problems. Um, I do keto diet, which is a high fat diet, but low carb and as little sugar as you can get away with. Um, I exercise and I do intermittent fasting. So after 8 p.m. I don't eat and I don't eat before lunchtime. Good. And why do you do it? Because I was getting larger and larger and more and more uncomfortable to the point where I couldn't even do shoes up properly. <laughs> And have you lost weight before, or was this the first time you've been? Um, I never needed to before. I, I, I was pretty slender for most of my life, and then we moved up here from London, where I used to go dancing every single night, mm -hmm. and have horses and kids, and we came up here, and life got a little bit slower, no dancing every night, and um, your exercise levels go down, and you know, we got a bit older, and and metaphor sets in, okay. you start springing. <laughs> and what are there new foods that you enjoy now that you didn't previously? Um, yeah, I eat more meat and salads, and mm. you know, I you know, there's a, there's a few foods that on the keto diet that you was, would be surprised at that are very nice. Right, but are there things you miss particularly you don't oh, have now? God, of course there is. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we're not on. Um, so I really miss bread. I really miss fish and chips. I really miss banana sandwiches. Right. <laughs> but what would you say to other overweight people who might be watching this? Don't give in. I spent years trying to find the regime, diet, exercise that would work for me, and it did take years. And you will get there in the end, if you, and you won't lose weight until you're ready to lose weight, but you will find it, just don't give in. And do you think it's important to set targets and goals? Or? Yes. Right. Yeah, I, I have a set target of how much exercise I'm going to do. And I probably am a little bit OCD. If I do that, I'll, I'll go yeah, for it. <laughs> because some people find it easier to have someone else with whom they can discuss menus, chopping, or food, and things like that. What's your experience with that? So. My experience is weird because my other half is very slender. He's the same as me, probably more than me, lots more than me, and he is very slender. So. You know, it, it's hard, it, that, that's a hard thing to live with, uh, but he does try and help sometimes and hides in a cupboard to eat the biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> Life is unfair, but have you found that peer pressure, other people who've seen you lose weight, have actually been trying to get you to put it on again by offering things and making that? Uh, yeah, that? he does do that. He does forget and say, do you want a biscuit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or Jaffa cakes, he loves, uh, you know, he knows I love Jaffa cakes. Even Jaffa cakes <laughs> in front of me is just cruel. <laughs> and have you, Fallen off the wagon in this time and then had to get back on it again, or what's been your experience? I found that the best thing to do is to have a set break, so know when you're going to have a break. Keto is kind of, it's not hard and you're not hungry, but you do, like you say, you do miss the fish and chips. <laughs> so I do set myself a break every three months. I allow myself off the diet for the weekend and then I get back on it. And that kind of helps you to stay on it because you know you're getting closer and closer yeah. to that day. Because you've also always done quite a bit of exercise, but has that changed significantly when you've been doing this? Um, no, I've always done the same amount of exercise. I changed my job a few years ago, so I worked 
in a job that was very sedentary, sitting at a desk all day. I did move still, I did still go dancing, but it wasn't enough. So when I got made redundant, I became a dog walker so that I could get like seven or eight miles of walking in instead of just one. <laughs> Yeah, well, congratulations, Beverly. You've passed on lots of high carb foods and sweet things, so well done. And uh, thank you for taking the time to come along. Thank you for having me.